Casa was in, uh, in elementary school, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I get goosebumps when I look at this picture yes. because those guys still are keen on driving our cars on a racetrack. And they stop. I mean, my brakes were shit yeah. good. Excuse my friend. Welcome to 40 years of Group C, the golden era of sports car racing. I'm currently sitting with the 1987 Le Mans winning car 962C of Antioch Stritzelstock, Derek Bell and Al Halbert. And this was really the golden era of sports car racing. And for me, it's like a fanboy moment because it's these cars and drivers I admired by growing up and definitely something special to be here today at Leipzig. We have six cars of this time, a unique gathering of cars here. But we are going to showcase them today to selected journalists. We have here Helmut Schmid, engine engineer, back in the days of Norbert Singer's team. We have a five-time Le Mans winner here, as in Derek Bell. We have Hans Stucki Stuck, the star driver of the 70s and 80s, a two-time Le Mans winner. And we have Bernd Schneider. He had a, a short two-year stint in the Porsche 962. And we have, last but not least, Jochen Maas, one of the most popular German drivers at the time. And for me, these cars are real driving machines. Now there's enough of talking, and I think we should drive a little bit. And give it some gas. Absolutely stunning. I love these cars. That's unbelievable. I mean, I could have done a few more laps. Uh, yeah, just, just stunning to drive these cars. It's quite modern. I mean, yes, like this, this is cool. uh, the, the car how it handles. But mostly, I mean, the gear shifts and stuff. It's completely different yes. to nowadays. Yes. And a lot of people forget yeah, they that how it is, like the dancing on the on the pedals yeah, with that's right. lip, heel, and toe, yes. clutching on, on each yes. way, way up and way down. And I yeah. think that's the most different part to today. Yes. But I think just like grip-wise, even though we went quick for yes. sure, grip-wise and just like how the car behaves, yes. I think it's pretty modern. Yes. These cars, I always yes. found them very creature-friendly. Yes. And very nice to drive. Yes. They're very comfortable and so on and so on. They're not yes. really terribly demanding if you just want to drive it like that. So that's why it's a real pleasure to drive them again. And um, you know, you could do 24 hours with two good with two drivers. Yeah, we did. Yes. And yes. later, Plenty. I mean, it became more and more difficult. The harder and the harsher the cars are, and yes. everything more precise, it's, it wears you out. And these cars allowed you to feel good after two yes. hours even and yes. longer. That's yeah. that was a lovely feature of these cars. Yes. You guys started the Group C era with, uh, with two drivers just. You won the very first Group C race and the very first Group C 24 hours of Le Mans yeah. in 1982. But later you stepped to three drivers, so what yes. was the reason there? Was it was after 83 when we actually came second, which was the hardest yeah. race of the lot. Okay. We were always trying to catch yes. the guy in front. But Jackie said to me in 83, he said, I think we should have three drivers. And I said, but who are we going to have? Jochen's taken already in another car. No, you di I didn't want to drive. Yeah. <laughs> well, I didn't ask you. Yeah. But, um, so <laughs> well, no, but, and I said, but who is? Who else is out there that isn't in the cars that I would like to drive with? And that, at that time, there really wasn't anybody. So we did another year together. But we were, it was the hardest race we ever did. We had so many problems. And if you drove the race and you had no problems, it was easy for two. But the year we had it, we kept coming up from last place to whatever. And it was harder than heck. We were both laid on a bed of ice afterwards mm. to bring our body temperatures down so it was tough and then we said he said to me he said we need three right I went yeah that's it and he retired so that okay. was yeah. <laughs> so then I needed two but I also think two drivers had a better rapport okay I knew oh, yeah, him pretty well I knew Jackie really well and and, and Stucky later on and you didn't need a third because okay. you could do it together. You knew you could do it and you had respect for each other. The third one comes in, it's like three's a crowd. You yeah. didn't know who to blame anymore. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> Just look at these unbelievable scenes here at Le Mans. You want to know something? It's just fantastic! <laughs> <laughs>
No, it, it is so great to, to be back in this car and to drive it. Now the tires are warm, chasing you a little bit, you know. Yeah. I mean, you never get it, but anyway. <laughs> I don't know. No, it's just, I mean, I'm so happy I can't tell you. Could have been another. Yeah, sure, full, full. let's go do another 15 minutes, no problem, you know. <laughs> For me, something unique to drive these cars. I mean, yes. hard, you can drive them hard, you can feel. I mean, the yes. cars go perfectly straight. I mean, yeah. And it's encouraging react. you, you yes. know. I mean, yes. the, the warmer the tires get, yeah. the faster you get, you yes. have more downforce yes. and everything. Oh, it's way so much fun. No, because every, you don't imagine how old this car is. Yeah. How, how, imagine how old we are, no, not you, but I am, you know? <laughs> And it still works, and it's just absolutely great. You, you used to try my, my, my Stuxi. Yes. Yeah, it's a bit different. It is steeper in the back. Okay. The, the, where you sit with your button, goes yeah. lower down. Okay. So that's what make me better fit in the car. Try it. Maybe. So you have more room with the, yeah, exactly. with the head, yeah, right? right exactly. And this is the, still the same seat from back in the days? From yeah, so this is the one existing. <laughs> Can you imagine how many times I farted in there? <laughs> I don't want to get in there. <laughs> no, it doesn't matter. It's, it's, it's decades ago, so I think it should, should be okay now. Oh, yeah, that's different. Yeah, it's different, isn't it? yeah, yeah you, have more, you have more leg space. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Thank you for letting me try the seat. Yeah, it's my pleasure. Look, inside, outside. Wow. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you. Porsche Museum is very particular in having their cars up and running even after many of these years. So we're not speaking here theoretically about how these cars were and not showing only movies. We can physically see these cars, smell these cars and I was happy you know, to drive these cars and what it takes to have these cars maintaining, have these cars up and running and obviously in perfect shape. These guys know about it. We have Alex, we have Helmut. So yeah, happy to be here. Um, so just tell me, I mean, what does it take for, for a car like this to be maintained even after 30 years? First, you must look that it's not burning the car. Yeah? Okay. You, you must change all fuels, lines, okay. oil must, lines, oil lines. Yeah. And then, all the rubbers. Yes, all the rubber. And like the engine, is this uh, like a big job to do or is it mainly like the... No, it's very easy. Okay. We check the compressor, we check the leak and maybe we go to Steino okay. to make a test. Short test, the gobble is okay, and then no clutch, and then the engine is in the normal okay. And how about like electronics? The electronic, we check this. New batteries, then you must look. change the batteries, all five years. When the battery, all this have a leak, it's a unit box, complete. Finish. Finish. And you can not rebuild a new box. Yeah. No chance. Okay. Yeah. So you can only work with what you have with the ECU units. Yeah. And do you need also the, like the old laptops, right, to connect, to be able... The same as we have okay. from 84 to <laughs> okay. now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 40 uh, years old. Crazy. What about the, I mean, the look of the car? I mean, like the, the decals and stuff and like the bodywork. I mean, I guess you, you want to keep it as original as it can be, right? No, you, have, you have two possibilities. You can make the car before the start yes. or after the race. <laughs> <laughs> that depends on what you want. Yeah. For a lot of exhibitions in the museum and so, yeah. then, then it's often better. You have a, a brand new car, yeah. so okay. that that's, looks nicer. Yes. So you have you need a, a good mix yeah. from such cars and such cars and. Yeah, so thank you very much for the insights and uh, yeah, so I, now you understand a little bit more on what it takes, you know, to maintain these cars and yeah, let's, let's get ready for maybe another stint out there. I would, would be ready still in, in the suit and uh, put on the helmet and we're ready to go. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Man, how was it? <laughs> it was absolutely great. Just feeling uh, like never have uh, left the car because you know it's right foot braking, <laughs> using the clutch for down and up shift. But uh, when you get in that car, immediately it's coming back and so heel and toe still works. Heel and toe, <laughs> so downshift you need to flip. Yeah. And of course, what for me is still impressive is the brakes yes. because that car has no ABS, yes. but you got really good feedback on the pedal, how much pressure you can use. 
before you're locking up the tires. So, and how, how quickly the car stops is really, really great. Yeah, you know, if he, if he wouldn't be so young, if he could <laughs> get some experience in that car a long time ago. <laughs> that would have been the dream, yeah, for sure. Yeah. But yeah. when you were racing these cars, I was in, um, in elementary school, I think, <laughs> or something. Yeah. But actually, you know, this is the one I never drove that car. Uh, always had a short version. And that's a long tail, yeah. It's that's a, a long tail for Le Mans, for yeah. the long straight. Mm -hmm. And I raced first time in 1991 at Le Mans, but it was already the chicane, so yes. we had a short version with us. Yes. And it creates even more downforce. So. With a different rear wing, right? With the yeah, it was a higher one, and uh, we had the single wing uh, yes. in the end. So, so it was really high downforce setting. After uns, vielen Dank. Was cool. It was cool to see yeah. you in a Porsche. Yeah. Again, after, after such a long time. Yes. It took very long. Ho <laughs> hopefully, not another 40 years. Yeah. <laughs> It's just lovely to be able to drive them, isn't it, without worrying. It's fun. You know, because you would yeah. normally get in somebody's car and you go, yeah, then, oh, he, he yeah. mustn't over rev his yeah, car. But and it, gives you, I mean, it gives you confidence. Yeah, absolutely. You know, the guys are rebuilding this car, they won't let you up with anything funny. And the car itself gives, gives confidence. That's right. Oh, yeah. And turning in with the power, yes. with the grip and everything, yeah, yeah. it's just great. That's fabulous. Yeah. And they <coughs> stop. I mean, my yes. brakes were shit yeah, good. Excuse good. my French. Yeah. The brakes were so good, I couldn't Especially you do couple laps and everything gets really uh, onto uh, uh, yeah. uh, working, working temperature. With, yeah. And then it's really, really cool. Yeah. I started to worry about the temperatures and I go, I can't fucking see them anyway. Yeah, but I had, but there's any, no need. I had any sort 18 of meter. Yeah, me too. Yeah. That's all it was. And nothing else on anything else. I mean, nothing was getting hot. I no. don't believe it. No. I was the only other thing getting hot, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> and I went, actually, you can go as fast as you like yeah. in this fantastic car and you've got to do, you've got to do it. Yeah. Just because you'll possibly never do it again, because there's no reason for them to bring them out. You're right, absolutely. You know, yeah. so no, it's fantastic, and they all run. Look at it, perfect. There's no oil. <sighs> it's just ridiculous. So that's it. So what happens now? Barbecue? Well, no, we've had a barbecue. Cup of coffee. <laughs> So we're here at Leipzig to celebrate 40 years of Group C, a uh, golden era of sports car racing. And I'm with Achim, he's the head of Porsche Heritage and Museum. Wow, 40 years of Group C era. It's a, it's a big moment to, yeah, to celebrate this special era in motorsports for Porsche here in Leipzig at the Experience Center because the cars are back on track. So it, there's no better place than, than here to drive the cars, especially you know the track. We have all those nice parts of, of uh, certain race tracks in the world. And this is for where the cars are made for driving. And I'm really proud to yeah, create an event with you like this. Yes. No, thank you. I mean, for me, it's a pleasure. It's, it's the dream cars of my youth. It's the, the, the cars and drivers I admired by growing up. This unique Rothmans livery, this beautiful Shell Dunlop car. I mean, this is. Already the car looks like stunning fast just standing here, I mean. This is what also makes me very proud that we are, you know, this, this is an honor, but it's also an obligation to, to maintain those cars and to, to bring them, them back in, in running condition. And besides our team from really cool mechanics, we also have the historical drivers with us. And this is a special moment for me. If you just look at this picture, the helmets of uh, yeah, Derek Bell, we have uh, your helmet, we have yes. the helmet <laughs> of uh, Stritzel Stuck and from, uh, from Jochen Maas. Um, I get goosebumps when I look at this picture because this is what makes Porsche special. Yes. Those guys still are keen on driving our cars on a racetrack. Yes. No, and a big thank you to the Heritage team. I mean, preparing these cars. I mean, at Porsche, it's like you can really see the experience. You can smell the experience. You can speak to the people who shaped that, that success in the past. And it's not just like speaking theoretically. I mean, you can see the cars running and you can hear how, what it was like. And so that's for me always, I get goosebumps right now because, like I said, these are the cars when I grew up. and. I decided to try to be a racing driver, you know. And I give you a promise right now, we will do it for sure for the next 40 years. That's a promise because I have two guys, two young sons, and they want to be racing drivers as well, so yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, 
Wow, what a day today here at Leipzig, celebrating the 40 years of Group C era. And now I got the understanding why this car was dominating the 80s like it did the 956, 962. It's the people behind this project building a car which still feels up to today, modern handling, feels nice to drive and with very simple technical solutions. And for me, that's just uh, the best result you can ever achieve. So Porsche has a vast history in motorsport and it will have a rich future as well. Yeah.